The first game of round five of the seven days Euro Cup top 16 could be the game that decides first place in Group E. Locomotive Kuban Krasnodar hosts Urbalav Gran Canaria Las Palmas in a game between two teams that aspire to go deep in the competition. Locomotive, which clinched a quarter-finals berth last week, will wrap up the top spot with a victory or a loss by less than 15 points. That is because it defeated Gran Canaria 71-86 in the Canary Islands in round one behind brilliant shooting from Matt Janning and Ryan Burkoff. Gran Canaria advances if it wins and Montequit Fuenlabrada loses. Round five could see as many as four more teams join the three teams that advanced to the quarterfinals last week and both Greek E games are Tuesday night events this time. Montequit Fuenlabrada hosts Ucam Murcia in a game that both need to win to realistically remain in the playoff hunt as the two sides have equal one and three records. Murcia topped Fuenlabrada 87-75 in their previous meeting thanks to another brilliant Facundo Campatho effort as he scored 18 points and provided nine assists. In Group F, Lid Cabelis Penevesis, who stand on one and three, hosts Kimki, who have a three and one record, and they need a big win to remain alive. Anything short of a win by eight points will eliminate Lid Cabelis and send Kimki through to the playoffs. And that is because Kimki bested Lid Cabelis 88 to 80 in round one in the Russian capital, with round four MVP Alexei Shved putting up 28 points, seven rebounds, and a seven assists. Last week, Kimki provided great entertainment as they beat Rasha Farmoun 85 to 84. The top and bottom of the group meet when FC Bayern Munich takes on fellow German club Rasha Farmulm. Bayern already secured a top spot in the next phase last week by making it four wins out of four while Ulm was eliminated from quarter-final contention. Bayern could clinch first place too with a win if Kimki Mosca region loses its road game, which will be likely be over before the game in Germany tips off. In Group G, Nizhny Novgorod will be giving maximum effort knowing that a loss will end its chances of reaching the quarter-finals as they travel to take on Zenit St. Petersburg. Nizhny beat Zenit 113-105 to in round one as DeAndre Kane erupted for 31 points and nine rebounds. Going into this encounter, Nizhny, who have a 1-3 record in the top 16, do have it all to play for, but their host Zenit can advance or be eliminated this week as they are locked on 2-2 two and two with Litivus Ritas Vilnius. Apoel Bank Yahav Jerusalem can become the first Group G team to advance if it defeats Litavus Ritas Vilnius in the Israeli capital on Wednesday. Jerusalem already beat Ritas in the Lithuanian capital in the team's top 16 opener. Coach Simone Pianigiani's men trailed by 20 points before rallying for a 76 to 80 victory. Curtis Jarrell scored 20 of his game high 26 points after half time to lead Jerusalem. A Jerusalem win could also give it first place in Group G. Group H opens on Tuesday when Valencia Basket looks to keep its perfect top 16 record. When resurgence said the Vita Zagreb comes to town, Valencia has already locked up a quarter-final ticket as well as first place in the group. Sedevita needs to win to keep its playoff hopes in its hands. If Sedevita loses and Unicaca Malaga wins on Wednesday, the Croatian champions will be ousted. A Sedevita victory, regardless of other results, means that its round six home game against Unicaca would decide the second quarter-final ticket from Group H. Unicaca Malaga looks to bounce back from back-to-back -back losses when it hosts Alba Berlin in its final home game of the top 16. Alba must win to keep its chances to advance alive as they won just once in their four top 16 games so far. And a win by at least eight would be even better due to a potential tie-break situations. Unicaca have won twice and lost twice in this phase. Defeated Alba 69-77 in round one in the German capital and I know that a triumph in round five would be a big step forward.